Hello everyone guys, my name is Aqua, welcome back to another video, and today guys we'll be going over if statements in Lua. Very so, first thing I'm going to want to do guys is we're going to make, I guess, actually we'll just make a variable, call it local a is equal to 5, and then to write an if statement basically, first thing you want to do is if, and then you want to actually ask the question you want to do, so we're going to do is local a equal to five. So when you're doing if statements, you want to do two equal signs instead of just one because one equal sign in the world of coding means you're setting. The other one means you're checking. So after you write that thing, right then, and then make sure you put it end autofills if you're on Visual Studio Code, then you're going to print it's to five then we're going to save it run it it's equal to five now let's change this to six for example save and then oh that's my bad guys and then run it and then nothing prints out because it's not equal to five so well let's make it print something when it's not equal to so let's say if it's not equal to five anything else we want to print it so that's when we use the thing called else just press enter a couple behinds and then just write the word else and then just simply write print it's not equal to five and then we run it again it's not equal to five so basically that's how you check it but now there's different types of um, things you can check in here so we can also do less than five so a less than five you know we we should be we should probably change this but it's whatever we can also do less than or equal so less than checks anything below it's so a check four three two one etc but when you put equal sign checks the five itself too so it's like is it equal to five no is it less than then it's like yes you know so if we change this to five run it it will be equal then we change then we remove the equal sign and then it won't print but you know if you have the equal sign sign it does that's basically it means you can also do greater than oops a greater than simple and it also print my bad also do a greater symbol and it will also say that and also remove it and make it equal to nine it shall also print so that's kind of like the main symbols you can use and then um, another thing we can do is we can actually check multiple things in this if statement so I am just gonna kind of switch this back to equals and I'm gonna comment it out real quick Awesome. So we're going to comment that out so it's saved for the GitHub. Um, and then we're going to have local feed is equal to 7. Why not? And also you can write regular numbers in here too. So you can like if a, I mean if 5 is equal to like 7 or something, if 5 is less than whatever, it'll also print it out. So another thing we can do is if a equal to nine and then you write the word and b is equal to seven then print a and b are equal to nine comma seven kind of an odd way of saying that that's fine though that's just kind of like i guess my weird example and then we can see print it out so you can write and here or right or two so that just has to check so if one of these statements here is true it will still print what's in here so and means both have to be true or means one or the other has to be true and also if you make something let's say you misprint something here where there's like an error with your second statement but the first statement's true it shouldn't even error out the second one because it will ignore the second one if it sees there's an or just some little fun facts. 
Now, another thing we can do, we're actually going to just count this out as well, because we're going to do our last little thing, and then that's going to be else if. So, if, let's say, a is equal to 7, then print a is equal to 7. And then we're like, okay, that's pretty simple. Else if, we'll check something if this above statement's not true. So it'd be like, okay, so it's a is not equal to 7. Well, is a equal to 9? Then it shall print out. Just like so. Make sure there's not two end statements. Copy this, run it. We see a is equal to 9 because this is not true. Skip down, check this. And we can also put it else in here too. So we search it to this say 10. Run it again. See, it's not equal to either of those. So I guess the last thing we're going to do is stacked if statements. Oops, did not mean to do this. Uh, a stacked if statement, I'll show you what this means basically. You, you might use this a decent amount of coding for like checking a bunch of things so we can do. Um, if a is equal to 10, then and, um, and then, so let's say once that's true, we want to check another thing. If B is equal to 7, then print both are equal. So main reason you might want to do this is if we check this, and then we want to print something out, let's say, oh, I forgot to put that's my bad, guys. And then, say else. And we print only a is equal to 10. Um, anyways, so you can basically kind of stack if statements. So you can have multiple and multiple. So let's say something's true. You want to check out like three other things. You can just stack it like this. And then maybe have different outputs, so like an else if. Let's say you have like four if statements in here. So like it maybe get a little confusing. That's where you want to like have little spaces, maybe even put uh, comments in here. So basically, that's kind of it. You can basically stack them. You can check a lot of things. My name's Ben Aqua. Hope you guys did enjoy this video on if statements. Any questions, join my Discord or ask in the comment section down below.